hey everyone. So I thought I would just jump on. <laughs> so it doesn't look like we're gonna be leaving Orlando anytime soon. <laughs> we got up this morning, everything went super smooth. My travel anxiety was like under control. I'm on my phone by the way, because I didn't want to bust out the camera for this because we're a little stressed. But we sat on our flight or we sat on our plane for about an hour and then they realized they couldn't take off because the weather was so bad. So they wound up deplaning us. And so now, as you can imagine, with all flights like grounded for the most part, the airport is a mess and we just now got word that all the rental cars are full. So we are here for another couple days, but I don't know where we're gonna go. Join us. It is pouring down rain right now. There's thunder, it's, yeah, this is, this isn't the kind of weather you wanna fly in. So I understand. But Caleb and I are taking refuge. We're in the parking structure right now. That's the Hertz rental car right there. They are currently sold out. Um, so yeah, we're just, say, hey bud, say hi. hi. Say hi. Hi. We're just hanging out. All right, so we are in our new rental car that Steve was able to Yay. procure for us. And so now we are en route back to the house we were staying. But actually, we have to stop at the store first because we, 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 we threw, threw everything fridge. away. Everything is in the trash. <laughs> so everything that we could have used is gone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's frustrating. It's literally just like a little rain. I don't know why it's not taking off. It's just drizzling. Yeah. This is terrifying. Oh my gosh. Hey everyone, all right, so we are back in Disney. Yeah, it's kind of like extra magic hours, but it's <laughs> extra magic days. Right. <laughs> so here we are. So just to give you some context, you saw a little bit of the video I shot on my phone. Um, we couldn't take off yesterday because the weather was so crazy. We couldn't get a car with our usual place, but luckily you were able to find this yeah. minivan from Alamo. And we're driving back to um, our friend's vacation home. We have the best friends ever. They were able to give us the home for another couple more days. But we did have to go to the grocery store because we threw out all of our food everything, yesterday. Everything, <laughs> absolutely everything. So we had to rebuy everything for just a few days. Right, but it's a silver lining because like I said, it gives us a f another day in Disney and this is gonna be an amazing Amazing day. We are on our way right now to Hollywood Studios because we got a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. And we have more to tell you, but I want to do it when we're in the park, so stay tuned. As you can see, it is a beautiful day here in Hollywood Studios. Just a few storm clouds in the sky, so we'll just keep our eyes on that. So a friend of ours bought on Etsy a growth chart for her children, and it was really cute because it was a growth chart that showed all the height requirements for all the attractions in Disneyland and Disney World. She posted that her little boy, who is taller than Caleb, I do have to say, he can ride Rise of the Resistance. And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. So we decided to bust out a tape measure and check Little Man. Sure enough, there are so many more rides he could potentially do that we didn't even think about. So here's hoping that our tape measure was right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that he can't go on these rides. If so, we have a day of adventure for him. Yeah. So as I mentioned, we did get a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. He's definitely not tall enough. Yeah, we can't do that yeah. one. But we're gonna see if we can get him on Slinky Dog Dash and Smuggler's Run. Smuggler's Run. I was like, what? There's no way he's big enough. He might be. All right, so we are in Disney's Hollywood Studios. It's a beautiful day. I really didn't think we'd be here so soon. I definitely didn't think we'd be here today. I know, that's for sure. <laughs> it's too funny too, because the other day when we were in line for Dumbo, I looked over at Barnstormer and I just thought, I was like, there's no way Caleb's ready for something like that. Like, I know Steve and I always joke that it's kind of like a, a lame kind of roller coaster, but it can be pretty intense for little ones. And I was like, yeah, there's no way. I, I can't help but think it's something with like, me being a parent, it's like, I don't want him to grow up quite yet. I want him to remain small, but it still just blows my mind that he could potentially be riding rides like this. Well, even though he may be tall enough, I don't know if he's gonna be completely ready for all these rides. So That's true too, yeah. We'll have to test that out a bit. Yeah. Okay, we're approaching Toy Story Land. It is very overcast, but like in a good way. You can still see a little bit of blue, but it's got a nice breeze. Oh, this is, this is awesome. Yeah, especially because the last couple days were very hot. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a nice relief. There it is. Okay, I don't know about this, guys. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Right here. All right, let's check this out, guys. We're gonna see if he's tall. I'm going for it. Yeah. Stand up tall. Stand up tall. Hold on. 
Caleb. Stand up. We're good. Yes. Oh, whoa. What? It's not big enough fun. You can go on this, bud. Are you excited? All right. All right. All right, I guess we do this. All right, so we are in the queue. They did check his height. So another cast member just checked his height just to double verify. He's good. good. Okay, checking it for a third time. All right. All right, so Steve's gonna ride with him. I'll be in the back. And we got front row. Okay, let go. Okay, we're gonna sit down flat. All right, I can't see little man, unfortunately. He's a little little. Okay, Dad, we're looking to you for confirmation of how he's doing. So far, good. <laughs> we, did, we haven't started yet, but he's looking happy. Here we go, ready? All right, we're gonna go fast. You ready? Ready. How's he doing? He's so great, he's laughing. Yeah. Laughing? I love it. What? All right, here we go. Ready? Can you get some pictures? We're gonna get a picture right here. Here we go. Well, how'd you do? Well, what'd, what'd you, think? you think, bud? Was that fun? Yeah. Was that fun? Were you laughing? That is awesome. <laughs> yeah, he was laughing during the fun part, so that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, does this ride get a thumbs up? <laughs> I feel like you have to go on it with him too, so you can get his experience. I do. I do want to see his face, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think this park just got a whole lot more fun for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little man has decided he wants to go again, and this time I'm going to ride with him. Yay! Okay, you're coming with me, baby. You're coming with me. Uh, they didn't need to measure you. They remembered you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How was it? Yeah. Yep, they're gonna go. Let's get off now. Yeah. That's a singing penguin? This is my favorite song. Come on, everybody. You did great. Some of the folks might be able so we are now heading into Batu as we have a little bit of time left before our boarding group is called for Rise of Resistance. So I think we might make our way over to Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run and try to get on that. 
Oh man, here we are. As impressive as ever. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the ship. All right, little man's first time entering the Millennium Falcon. See, look, look. See lights? There's no fire alarms. <laughs> There's no fire alarms. <laughs> They said we could take a picture in here if we wanted to. Isn't this cool, man? Say hi. Hi. Oh, man. And so you're going to sit to his right hand side. You'll control up and down. Okay. However, the right hand side is inverted because we love the message you guys. So you'll push up to go down and push down to go up. Okay. We're going to be a pilot, bud. Right. We're at, what, what's the expression? Like, we're at the hands of Caleb? Yeah. We're at his mercy. Which is funny because Mike can't pilot this thing on his own. So let's see how three-year-old Caleb's going to be better than me. Thank you. Hit that button. Oh man. Whoa. All right, you gotta use this to steer, okay? Can you lean forward? Good job. Go like this. Or you can just watch if you want to watch it. Engineers, automatic repair engaged. <laughs> oh, we're flying. We're flying, bud. You ready? You ready for that? Thumbs up. Right pilot, push the flashing button to take off. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. Here we go. Woo! Caleb, we really did a number on this ship. Yeah, you did. It's pretty busted up. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> That's Stand cute. Up. Stand up. Ready? <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Oh, man. All right, look at me. <laughs> oh, there you go. There it is. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Dad, your little boy flew the Millennium Falcon. Is that a proud, proud dad moment? It is definitely a proud dad moment. Even if he flew us into some walls <laughs> and some rocks and yeah. everything was on fire when we left, we did it. We still did it. it we great. made it out alive. Yeah, it's exactly. All right, our boarding group is ready. That's right, so Mike went first last time, I'm going first this time, so. And I don't think we're gonna vlog it this time just because no. we just did it the other day. I wanna just enjoy it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I'm off to enjoy it. Have fun. All right, and while Dad is on Rise of the Resistance, Little Man and I came back to Hollywood, and we're grabbing a little snacks. We got these mini sweets graham cookies. These are what Caleb picked out. All right, I'll hold that. Okay, take a bite. Let's see how they are. Yeah. They good? They get a thumbs up. <laughs> So I just got off my ride through of Rise of the Resistance. So I think that's gonna wrap things up for us here at Hollywood Studios because now we're gonna go grab lunch in Magic Kingdom. And get up some of those new rides that we haven't been on yet with him. Yes. So we have made it to Magic Kingdom and we are hustling because we are racing to get to our dining reservation. 
It wouldn't be a Magic Jazz dining reservation if we weren't rushing to Call it. Call it close. <laughs> and this is where we're eating today. We're gonna check out the Plaza restaurant. Very excited about this because we've never been here before. It's hard to see because there's a little bit of condensation happening on this menu, but it looks like they have a cheesesteak sandwich, homestyle meatloaf, Plaza burger, Plaza club, bangers and mash. Quite the variety. Little man sees Mickey. Oh, wow. There he is. Can you wave to him? All right, going in. Thank you. Wow, we've never been in here before. This is very fancy. I like it. I thought it was going to be a lot louder, but it's got carpet, so I think that's absorbing a lot of the noise. All right, so we just sat down, we placed our order. Um, they've already brought us our waters, which is nice because it's getting a little toasty outside. I was very thirsty. Um, but we placed our order. We're doing, we're going very simple today because we're going to do something really fun tonight. Um, but I just ordered the Plaza Burger and you got... The Plaza Club. The Plaza Club, okay. And it's not on the menu, but they had a grilled cheese. So we ordered that for a little man and he's going to get some apple slices and some fries. As Mike said, I think this is the first time we've ever been here. Yeah. yeah. So one thing I want to point out is the amazing view just over my shoulder right over there. Like, look at that view all lunch long. That's perfect. Okay, our food showed up. Caleb got the grilled cheese with some apple slices. And as a special treat, he got some french fries. Yummy. And yours looks awesome. This yep. is the Plaza Club. Yeah, the Plaza Club. And then on this Plaza Club, it's smoked ham, turkey, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. So minus tomato. <laughs> we look over and then Mike's this meal. is my burger. <laughs> so I didn't realize this. It's got braised beef brisket on it. Wow. So it says Plaza Burger, honey barbecued beef brisket, cheddar, lettuce, and tomato. And those french fries look awesome. And you said we're having a, a easy lunch, that was <laughs> All right, so how is it? It's pretty good. Like, it's not my favorite burger I've ever had here um, on Disney property, but um, it's pretty good. It's, um, I do like that they put the smoked brisket on top of it because that's where it's getting most of its flavor. I feel like the patty is a little plain, yeah. but it's good. So a basic burger with barbecue on top of it. Yes, yeah. for sure. But the fries are amazing. I love these fries. And how's your Plaza Club? It's good. It's like a basic like diner club, so it's good. The ham definitely gives it a little bit different flavor, a little bit more smoky, but generally, I'm happy. I like I love I love club sandwiches, so this is what I want. So it's good. So you would say it's not nearly as good as the club sandwiches you make at home, right? That's right. That's right. It doesn't even touch it. Something that kind of annoys me from time to time is that when there's so much burger and then the bun is really little, so it's making it a little yeah, difficult to eat. Mmm, go cheese. How is it? Good? Did you get a thumbs up? How is it, Dad? That was how I got him to eat with a good bite. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Something Steve just reminded me of today, April 12th, it's National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day, bud. How do you feel about that? <laughs> oh. French fries with ketchup. What do you say? Have, have a great, great day. day. Oh, you have a great day, because you made my day. <laughs> So that was a fun lunch, something new. Yeah, we didn't film a whole lot because it's kind of the witching hour for most yeah. kids. So it's that point where they're so exhausted because they did so much in the park that parents are just trying to get them to eat. Yeah. And they're just done with it, so. But we do have to say there was a cast member there. She was phenomenal. Yeah. She was so engaged with Caleb and he was having a blast. Exactly. It was awesome. Now Caleb was well behaved, which is nice. Yeah. It's always nice to have the, the well behaved kids in the restaurant. <laughs> right. We don't always have that, but it is no. nice when it happens. This time it was very good. It yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so we have a little bit of extra time before we need to head back for Caleb's nap. So I think we're gonna go into Fantasyland and see what we can check out there. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go up to the front and see if he measures up to Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. All right, time for some Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. All right, so we made it through. Made it through the first check. And I'm in the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna let it turn around. All right. See if you can see the cottage. Hey. Not, never been able to see who lives there? Who lives there? The seven doors live there? Seven dwarves. All right, here we go. We got front row. 
You ready for this, man? Here we go. Pull up your face, <laughs> Saved your head. All right, Caleb. What do you think? Awesome. Yeah. Thumbs up on that one. <laughs> All right, we're on to see Snow White dance. You ready? Look in the house. Look in the house. Right here, right here. Oh, look. Oh, and there she is. There's the witch. Oh, are you hiding? I think he's hiding from the witch. She's not nice, huh? <laughs> bye bye witch so he i think this has been a great day for him i think so a lot of action i think he's kind of fading right now yes for sure so we definitely got to get back for a nap time for him yes but i loved his reaction to the uh <laughs> the wicked queen the evil witch yeah at the end so he was hiding behind Mike. This was one of his favorite movies for the longest time. Exactly. Oh my gosh, we Every had Snow day. White going like three times a day. Yeah. Okay, bud, did you have a great day? Oh, he's tired. Very tired. That's okay. I, I think he's had a great day. We did, we, we ensured that. Yes. So Mike and I were talking, there's a 50-50 chance this is our last time in a park for this trip. Reason being was we have an early dining reservation that's pretty close by, so we could easily pop over here if we're feeling energetic after that. Right. Second reason is we've been trying to leave Florida twice already on this trip, so <laughs> there might be a third opportunity for us. So that's we'll see. True. So I don't know if we've mentioned it, but that's where we're going to dinner tonight. That's we're right. going to the Contemporary, or yeah, well, yeah, we are going to the Contemporary, yeah. but we're going to California Grill. Um, out of nowhere, Steve managed to snag us 5 p.m. reservations. I think it's because it's 5 p.m. and most people don't want to go right when it opens. We definitely do. Yeah, for sure. That's the prime time for Caleb to actually eat. And we want to do something a little different. Every time we go, we tend to do the typical, you know, get an appetizer, a cocktail, an entree, dessert, all that. I think tonight we're going to go small. I think we're going to do like a tapas night yeah. because we've mentioned that in our Q&As before that we really, really like the appetizers here and that they have so many great offerings outside of full entrees that you could make a night of just apps with your friends. I think so. So we're going to give that a try. But we're not going to skip the cocktails. 